with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very refreshing and creamy strawberry horchata made at home with lots of love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. First things first, making my simple syrup. When you make your simple syrup, you use less granulated sugar. Here I have one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of water. We're gonna take it to the stove, boil it until the sugar has dissolved completely. Now we're gonna let it rest until it comes to room temperature. And now this is the best part, preparing the rice and the cinnamon stick one cup of rice here let me tell you i left the rice with water overnight and the cinnamon stick when you leave it overnight the rice really gets nice and hydrated the cinnamon stick really infuses the rice and it even gets so plumped look at this this is the best way to let the rice and the cinnamon stick really absorb all those, the water really hydrate, really penetrate the cinnamon into the rice. Once this is done, I am ready to just add it to my blender cup. Of course, I'm gonna add two cups of regular water and then we are ready to blend. Blend for about two to three minutes. Every blender is different but blend it really good so all those flavors really incorporate and you get all those amazing benefits of the cinnamon stick. Look at this, two, three minutes, and then you'll see the results. And here I am going to strain it. I'm gonna put it through a strainer and I'm gonna show you exactly what we do not need from the rice or the cinnamon. Like you left it overnight, it's gonna get nice and the flavor is gonna be amazing. And here I added the strawberries. I'm adding the mixture of the cinnamon and rice, adding a splash of the strawberry color extract. And we're ready to blend. The color just amazing. The aroma of the strawberry extract just perfect. I don't know if you could really, you know, absorb those amazing colors. And here I'm ready to add the mixtures. Three cups of regular milk. One can of evaporated milk. One can of condensed milk. And then we are going to mix very well, incorporated really good before we taste it and see if we need to add some simple syrup. Let me tell you, this strawberry horchata is just creamy, delicious, the flavor just amazing. And it is perfect for this hot weather. On my channel, you have so many different lemonades and creamy, refreshing waters. Here I'm adding a splash of the simple syrup we made at the beginning of the video. Remember, when you use simple syrup, you end up using less sugar. Of course, the sweetness is to taste. And now I am ready to add the mixture of the strawberry into the milks. This is going to be so creamy, so thick that you guys are going to love it. Of course, once you add it into ice, oh my gosh, is just amazing. Instead of refreshing yourself with the Coke, with a um with something that you buy 
why don't you make it at home with fresh strawberries and with ingredients you find in any supermarket. While this is ready, let me show you how it looks from close up. Let me show you the texture and how creamy this looks. The aroma of the strawberry, it's really strong. And I am sure this is just amazing. And now I am ready to transfer it to my pitcher. But before I do that, I reserve some strawberries because I want to decorate my glass with some fresh strawberries. That's optional. But let me tell you, when you add fresh strawberries to your glass and you pour this amazing strawberry horchata, it really gets so much interest and you're really going to love it. Here I'm pouring it into my pitcher. I'm going to add everything in here and I'm going to prepare my glass. Of course, first prepare the strawberries. And these strawberries are so big, so juicy, so flavored. It's, they're even so sweet, just amazing. Look at this. Of course, you could cube it, you could slice it. That's optional. But I'm just going to slice away nice and thin. And then I am ready. I am just ready to enjoy this strawberry horchata. Look at this. Can't wait to enjoy. I'll see you in just a little bit. with this strawberry horchata. You need to make it. You need to refresh yourself with Cooking with Gloria. This is the part I love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Excuse me. Mm. The flavor of the strawberry so penetrating. Please don't miss out in adding the strawberry extract. It really makes a difference. Let me tell you, when you make your aguas frescas with love, everything comes out perfect. If you liked and love this amazing agua fresca, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to subscribe so Cooking with Gloria continues growing. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. I will stay enjoying this amazing agua de horchata de fresa. You're going to love it. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.